Hey savages, uh, thanks for coming out to another spoon fed edition of Vampire Kingdoms. All right, uh, we're starting off uh, super fun here. We've got the Ballad of Zacatacus, uh, as sort of sung, told by Thana and uh, and Carl. Uh, this sort of like a, a future in later in life uh, when Carl's all grown up and. Then I guess becomes a bard and uh, tells the tale of uh, the uh, the heroes of the vampire kingdoms uh, going down into the catacombs of Zacatecas. Uh, so, anyways, hope you guys sort of like that. Um, and then uh, we get right through it, uh, going through the catacombs. You know, uh, you got these like your footfalls are just echoing all over the place. Like, how in the world are vampires? Not all around you guys. Uh, that's a good question. Um, but uh, Rod, uh, he does pick up some vampires. He's having a little bit of trouble discerning vampires from rock, possibly because they're undead. But he does pick up some vampires in a cave um, about 200 feet away. So like 40 inches or something like that. And uh, basically through some uh, really very creative dialogue between Rod and... And Ashlyn's dog, uh, Blanca, who just goes, yep. And then Rod's like, yes, of course, I was getting to that dog. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so uh, I don't know what's going on with that dog, but I'm, I'm liking it. Uh, so, um, you know, uh, so between some dialogue between the NPCs, I hope you guys get the feeling <coughs> that, um, excuse me, that vampires are near 40, 40 inches away. There's three different ways to get there through the uh, the really easy way, which is straightforward. The hard way, which is a little precarious and, and dangerous and deadly, but gives you some really good tactical advantages. And and the dead way, which gives you the best tactical advantage, possibly, depending on who you are. Uh, uh, but also, like, uh, has a high degree of uh, killing you, I guess. Like, Rod's like... You could only survive this if you had a, a with a point zero one percent chance or something like that. So, uh, yeah, expect some uh, a, a hard roll uh, down the road if you decide to go with the dead way, because it's the dead way for a reason. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so you know, just go ahead and uh, role play amongst yourselves. Uh, you know, uh, role play amongst yourselves, uh, figure out what you want to do. I'm fine, like, if you guys come up with another way, like, I was thinking about it while I was writing, I was like, why don't they just, like, just teleport everybody into the middle of them, or, like, at least, like, just teleport Penitent into the middle of 25 vampires and tell them, yeah, well, cast quickness, go expose yourself, like, you know, five times and take them out. Uh, if that's the way you guys want to go, sure, that's fine, you know, whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, you know, there's 25 of them, it's a cavern, uh, you know, we'll figure it out, like, you might not be able to take them all out or anything, but, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, that's totally fine, and, you know, it makes some sense for people to get into position and stuff like that, even if you were going to do that kind of deal, like, um, you know, you'd want to move your forces closer, so you guys can think tactically about it a little bit, and, you know, um, you know, my, my thoughts are like, we're going to do a stealth roll here. Sort of uh, represents how quiet you guys are moving into position. And, you know, maybe you get like, you know, halfway, a third of the way uh, 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 there to where you want to be. Um, and then, uh, you know, we'll do another stealth roll if you guys are trying to get the drop on the vampires or whatnot. Uh, but if you guys are just like, oh, it's playing, playing teleport into the middle and sunlight it up. You know, then maybe we don't have to do the s stealth rolls necessarily, or maybe we still do the stealth rolls, and you guys can get the drop uh, for those who make it. Um, but you know, you know, something like that. That's what I was sort of thinking in my head, like you know, stealth rolls to get up into position, and then uh, maybe another what you know, and then after after this movement, the the next GM after the next GM post where everybody's in quote unquote position. Uh, that would sort of be the time that I'll have the players do their, uh, if you want to prep action as you move, uh, uh, the last sort of four inches or the last leg of your journey to get to, uh, 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 ready to spring a trap or, you know, whatever you guys want to do. Um, 
So I have some uh, some extra notes down below, like covering like some some cool edges. Like if somebody has a MacGyver, sure MacGyver, you know something awesome that you could put on your feet to dampen your sound or you know whatever you want to do. Um, you know, then I was like, I had some uh, uh, creative uh, uh, comments for people wanting to use Burrow. Uh, and uh, yeah, I might have had some other things, but anyways, keep it short here. So that's that's what's sort of going on. And uh, oh, and then Rod, he does pick up two people far below you guys, moving rather slowly. He he's pretty confident those are like actually humanoids, not vampires. So, uh, you know, I got to keep Hans on the hook here. I'm just reeling you in, big dwarvy. I got you on a hook. Your, your sister's down below. Come and get her. That's right. Come and get her. All right. Uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy the post and have some fun. Uh, I got a special guest star here that wants to sign off. And also, if you like these videos, comment down below, and I love you guys. That's right. Visit www.savagerifts.com. Oh, and also, if you want to visit my channel, my name is Perk, and my channel is Pearl's Crafty Cafe. So if you want to check that out, hit the comment down below. Hit those comments, people. We want 15,000 likes. I'm talking to you, Derek. Log in every day and like it. And also, I'm almost up to 1,000. I'm only, but I only have one. Peace.